Hey, hey, so let me guess. You're here to draw tears. Wow, I wonder how the fuck did I even guess that? It's not like you just clicked on a video that says how to draw tears and it, yeah, anyways, I'm a psychic. So I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by me, myself. I have a gum road. Please support me. I'm broke. Also, it has useful stuff. Also, I have a Discord server there, so you can go there to interact and talk with me, to join fun events, and to watch me stream, because sometimes I stream there. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, it's been so long since I did YouTube videos that I actually just feel so awkward. Okay, let's just carry on with the video and end this suffering. Alrighty, so step one, grab a color that's going to be very visible to you. I decided to go for red because last time I got a lot of comments on how people thought they were like drawing edgy blood tears and I hope people comment that again because you know, comments equal boost and boost equal me more views, me more views equals more money. I need money. So yes, give me money. Anyways, so just draw your tears in a color that's very visible to you at first. We're going to change the color later, so do not worry, all right? And when drawing your tears dripping down the face, um, it, it kind of helps, well, for me at least, to have a gap in between the tears because it helps make it look a little more natural. Like, some tears look just, like, too thick and weird, so it just helps me to have, like, a little gap in between, all right? You don't exactly need to do that, but you can. Now, as for the placement of the tears, um, you can either draw the bigger tears in the middle of the eye or in the corners of the eyes. Of course, it could really be anywhere, but generally, that's where they are. If something doesn't look right to you, don't be afraid to just erase and restart. It's best to take your time doing something right instead of just carrying on with your mistakes. I feel like such a hypocrite saying that, but... Just do that. It'll make things a lot easier in the long run. It'll also help you produce higher quality work, which I know your work is dog shit. No, that's that's not true. I'm sure your work is amazing, especially if you watch my videos. Anyways, alpha lock your layer for the tears and then make it all white. Never mind. Make it all a dark gray color. Sorry. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. You can then change that layer to an overlay. After that, just select the opacity, create a new layer above it, and then get white. Now what you're going to do is you are going to create the little sparklies, the little shinies. So what you can do is just gently outline your tears. Not, you don't have to do it to all of the tears, like, but just like certain parts of it just to make the tears a lot more visible, also because it, may, it gives it that nice little wet look, that watery moist look. I'm so fucking sorry. I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> That's not even funny. Okay, Dina, shut the fuck up. Okay, anyways, <clears throat> back to being professional. As you know, I'm really professional. Anyways, this has got to be the most, like, least professional YouTube video. Why do I have so many subscribers? All right, anyways, so we're just outlining it gently, and I like to do this instead of using the filter tool to create an outline, because I like the unevenness, how some parts are thicker or thinner than others. Also, I like to create the tears and the shine on, like, one part of it, so that it looks like the light's coming from a particular source. Now that I look at it, um, all the shines should have been on the right side, but the tear on her cheek dripping down right there, um, I did it on the opposite side, so it looks kind of fucked up. But whatever, light bounces, so I'll just say that's my reason for my messed up lighting scenario. Now I'm just creating big blobs in so that it looks like there's shinies. Alright? Perfect. <laughs> okay. So, you could take a step back to admire your work if it's as beautiful as mine, which I highly doubt. Sorry, I'm just coping. <laughs> oh, which is actually kind of true. I am kind of coping right now. It's been so long since I've done tutorials that it actually feels weird. Did I used to do this every day for two years? My god. Anyways, creating a new layer, setting it on multiply, and getting a dark blue color. It could be dark red, it could be any color you want. 
but I wanted to go with a blue because I wanted to balance out all the warm colors with something cooler. Never mind, I lied. I wanted to use a warm color because it can harmonize with all the other warm colors, that way making everything blend perfectly. I'm not editing this video, why? Because I'm lazy. Also because personality, right? My personality is just making a bunch of mistakes and then spewing a bunch of bullcrap afterwards to make it look intentional. You see, I'm not actually a confident or smart person, I just sort of halfway own up to my own mistakes and I'm all like, I meant to do that. That way people think that I'm actually not a total wreck. Anyways, now the reason why everything turned blue was just because I was on the selection layer, okay? Fear not. Anyways, you could also lower the shine if you want to, if you feel like it's a bit too intense for you. Uh, it's not, it's not mandatory, it's just optional. Creating a new layer above everything. And actually, it's best to just duplicate your shiny tear layer, make it an add layer, and then just gently blur it. That way, it looks like the shine is, like, glowing. Yeah, see? And so, I can't believe I was about to make a whole new layer. And just, you know actually put effort in. Who the hell does that? Anyways, you see how beautiful and shiny the tears look? Now on that add layer, I am now creating a little shiny by creating little crosses to spread the word of God. No, just kidding. I'm not even Christian. So now I'm just creating little sparkles on the eye. There is a brush to do this, but I like to do it um, manually because I'm better than any brushes. Once again, I am coping. So I like to do this because it makes things way more pretty. I'm dehydrated. My throat feels tight. Please, drink water. That is the sound of me drinking water. <laughs> you know what? Every time I tell myself, Dina, you should really script this. What you're saying sounds so stupid. But then I'm just like, nah. It lets my personality shine through, also because I'm fucking illiterate and I can't read. Anyways, adding more shine into the eyes makes the other eye, like the rest of the eye, look more moist, making it look more dramatic. Unless they're like traumatized or something, then don't give them sparkles, but like you should give them sparkles because like, it's logical and it's pretty. Look at that. Look at the pizzazzle stazzle. That's not even a word, but it is now. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, so thank you so, so much to everyone who watched the video. I am so sorry for being a bit of a mess. I just need to get back into the group of making groove, groove, not group, of making YouTube videos. It's been so long. It used to be so natural to me, but now it just, it just feels so weird. Anyways, please comment down any types of videos you'd like me to make. I'm running out of ideas. Also, because comments help me and I am running out of ideas, please help me. Anyways, thank you so much, and please join the Discord server if you want to become closer as a community. I don't know why I said it like that. I am so sorry. 